something that is uh, rather newsworthy is that the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser is closing this fall. Yep, the Galactic Star Cruiser will have its last sailing on September 28th. Disney said, Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser is one of our most creative projects ever and has been praised by our guests and recognized for setting a new bar for innovation and immersive entertainment. Well, I'm not going to say I called that it would close. I questioned from the beginning a lot of things with this, as did a lot of people. Um, I mean, some of the phrasing in there of, they're obviously not going to, you know, come out and admit that like, oh yeah, this was not a good thing. Like, you know, they're going to put a spin on it. But I think from the get go, the main thing that stuck out to most people was the price. Mm -hmm. And I think that was always the thing. And obviously the certain, you know, some people went in, in, you know, to be quite honest, I've talked to seven or eight different people that went on this Mm -hmm. and they all said they loved it. Right. So I haven't talked. I haven't heard anybody saying that actually did this. That said they didn't like it. Yeah. So that all cards on the table. We didn't do it, so I can't speak to how good or how not good the experience was. What I can speak to is I said all along, at that price point, at that level of immersion, which is essentially LARPing, uh, you know, role playing for a couple of days. And the way it's set up, that's a very niche group of people that would be interested in that to begin with. Plus, you couple with it with, you know, it's based off of the sequel trilogy, which is, in my opinion, I'm not a fan of the sequel trilogy. I think it's kind of evident that most people, you know, especially compared to the original trilogy, the prequels are not as well. So I think you were talking already about people that even if it was original trilogy, that would be interested in this. That's a niche group of people to begin with. Mm-hmm. Once you add the sequel trilogy, then you add the cost to it. That's niching down even further. And I had said all along, I think when it opens, it was going to be sold out. I just don't think the longevity is there because the repeatability for the price and the experience doesn't change. And I know some people did it more than once, but I just think it wasn't enough to really make it sustainable. And obviously, it didn't even la- It barely lasted over a year. So I can't, I can't say that I'm shocked that this didn't work. I, I'm a little bit surprised that it's this short amount of time, to mm-hmm. be quite honest. Mm-hmm. I mean, I kind of figured if this wasn't going to work out or... Uh, to be honest, I didn't actually think they would actually just come out right and say they're going to close it down. I thought they would change it. Yeah. I thought they would turn this into... You know, I'd said for a while, it, make this more of a... You come in for dinner and a show type of thing. And maybe the hotel part of it was just too much for people. Because again, you're talking about the people that I talked to that did this. Like every 15 minutes, there was something to do. Which, right. is, which is great if that's the type of experience you want. But for, I think for a lot of people, you could have had something cheaper that was you come in, you had the food, and then you experience, you know, whatever the lightsaber battle or the, some story going on. That was something I think that could have worked. So I am a little surprised that they're just flat out shutting it down. And they're just taking, they're basically just going to write it off for $300 million is what they're going to do. Well, I'm not surprised by that because like you just said. Well, I'm not surprised they're, they're writing it off. I'm just right, saying right, right. that's what they're doing. But a lot of people are saying like, okay, let's repurpose it. Let's change it. Let's make it to where, like you said, you could do like a dinner party thing, like a dinner and a show. Um, I'm not sure. I'm I, Again, I don't know how that would work because if you've seen the outside of this building, it's very nondescript. It's like, it's like a cube of concrete. Like there's, there's no theming or anything around it. There's not even a parking lot for for guests. Like you right. have to valet park your car when you go up to like the to the Galactic Star Cruiser. There's no amenities. Like there's a lot of things that they would have to do if they were to make it like a regular hotel, which is a lot of people have said like, oh, maybe they could do that. But there's only a hundred rooms in there, so they have to add more rooms to that. So it would just be. I think that they would just be hemorrhaging money trying to make this a working hotel. Whereas I think they're just saying like, you know what? We can write this off. Like we've spent the money. We're not going to put anything more into this property right here. And we're just going to do something different. And if you look back at history of Disney, they have a, they have a, (laughs) they have a tendency to do this. They'll start something and shut it down and then it's abandoned. You know what I mean? So I, I can see this sitting there doing nothing for a long time personally but 
I don't know. I just don't think it could work the way people are maybe wanting it to work. And I think that closing it is probably the best solution for Disney. I likened it. We had a live stream last night, Club 32, and I likened it to this is like a house that was custom built for somebody and mm-hmm. they wanted very specific things that aren't normal in a house. Like <laughs> That's a good, that's a good, you know, like it, yeah. they wanted the, the bathroom to be right off of some other room that's whatever it is. They, they built it very custom for a specific person to the point where it's hard to for anybody else to buy that house. The, the realtors can't sell it. It's like Michael Jordan's old mansion that he has. I don't think I still don't think that thing's been sold that he had in Chicago, because it was all custom built wow. for Michael Jordan. Um, so I think that is one of the things that goes against this of repurposing it. Is that alone? Is yeah. There's it was built for this specific purpose, and the again the room there. This was only a 100 room hotel. So that's the one thing people don't realize how small this thing was. Mm-hmm. So it's not like you could turn this into a regular hotel well, like you were saying without a lot of cost because it doesn't have a pool. It right. doesn't have a lot of rooms. And the rooms that they did have were very small. Very small. Uh, it doesn't have, I mean, it's got dining, I suppose, in there, but I don't think it doesn't have like quick service type stuff that, right. from my understanding. Um, and there's really no easy way to get to it. You know, it's not like you can park hop it or resort hop it. So yeah. Yeah. That uh, whether they'll bulldoze it or not, it may just sit empty or they may end up bulldozing it. I don't know. But I know if they're going to write it off, they cannot use it for anything else. Right. So they can't even use it for like storage. They literally, it has to sit there abandoned or they just demolish it. And that brings me to a point of, I think what could have actually worked on this. And if we want to talk positively, like what could they have done? Mm -hmm. I thought all along, if they just would have built a Star Wars hotel that was themed after Star Wars. And if you want to include the sequel trilogy, that's fine. But have it be where it's got prequel, original trilogy, and sequel trilogy. And have it themed to that. And the thing that would have been a real, uh, I, I think, a strong point to it was, and a lot of people talked about in the Star Cruiser, was the bar area was really cool. Mm-hmm. You could also put that in just a Star Wars themed hotel. Right. You have the food. You would have characters walking around. But you can also just be able to enjoy. You know, you come and go to your park. You're at the Star Wars hotel. You enjoy it. If you want to offer you know, more inclusive, you know, hey, there's this uh, LARPing activities you can do, then those things you could add on to it if you wanted to. But I think a lot of people would have really enjoyed a Star Wars hotel that just included all of the Star Wars. But this kind of can go into a bigger gripe I have about the way Disney's treated Star Wars and that they've just wanted to make their own sequel trilogy and then basically they don't want to, almost they don't acknowledge what George did before. But I think if you just were accepting of that, you could do a lot of, a lot of cool stuff with this. but yeah. and, and I think the other thing too, what I was saying about this hotel, that it cut itself off from the other things so at Disney hotels is you couldn't come visit this hotel. Like for right. that amount of money, like before right. we stayed at the Polynesian the first time, I was at, I went to, we went to the Polynesian. I walked like around. Visited. I yeah. think we ate there or did something. Maybe we just went and hung out and I was like, wow, this is really cool. I would like to stay here. You cut that off for people. So at that price point, people were having to do this without having ever gone there. And also, Disney gets a lot of people that come to Resort Hop that eat and buy stuff and get drinks and hang out. This hotel didn't have any of that. So in a way, it cut itself off from the normal things that a Disney resort offers to people. Well, and they, but they never they never marketed it as that. They didn't. They, to be fair. That's what I'm saying. They market, It was so different, and it was a different concept. So you not yeah. only did it have all this niche stuff we already talked about, it was also this new concept that you tried to have to sell people on. That mm-hmm. people aren't used to, and that does. I mean, anytime you're doing something that is brand new to an end uh, to a market, and to their credit, nothing like this had been done before to the on this level. Right, this is brand new so thing. Yeah, they did have that barrier of trying to educate people on what it is, and then convince them to spend that amount of money to do it. And given that, I, I just think, I think it could have worked potentially with many different changes to it. But the way in which they set it up, I kind of always felt like it just had a short term lifespan. Hopefully they, they keep they keep building on this and, and come up with new ways to appeal to guests. And uh, I hope next time when they say when we when guests say this is too expensive, they listen. 